guys welcome back to my channel hope you're having a wonderful day i just wanted to come to you guys and share a few coins um that were gifted to me and um just kind of just spend some time with you guys looking at some coins that are um kind of interesting to me um i know they probably don't have much value but they look really good so i just thought i'd share them with you guys um, this one is the first one and it had on here, JC Penny celebrates American style, which I thought was pretty cool. And this is the coin. And there it says Liberty Trade Bronze on it. And it's a very pretty coin, as you guys can see. Pretty thick. Nice looking coin there. I don't know if maybe you can comment below. Let me know if you guys have seen one of these before or maybe if you have one of them. But I just thought it was a pretty cool coin. So it just goes in here like that. And then it uh, slides back in the protective cover. And that's how it was like that. All right, guys. So the next one. We're going to look at um it says here first to fly over the south poles so um it says coin shop on there um it says at the top bird so-called half dollar i think that's what it says there and um you know if i can open it up somehow maybe or maybe not <laughs> oh let's see um but it's just a half dollar so um and this is what it says on the other side to commemorate the achievement of the bird Antarctic expedition, 1920 to 19, 1928 to 1930. So that's what it says on the back. And um, I can't make out the little writing on the top, but it's a pretty cool coin. So I hope you guys can make it out really good. But yeah, that's another one that's pretty cool. So let me see if I put these right here so you guys can see the too. Alright, so the next one I want to share with you guys um, this is not the one that I wanted to share but I thought it was pretty cool um, but I can't really make all the lettering out on it but it's a pretty cool coin and I see on the back it says half dollar 1944 so let me know if you guys have any information on these I mean I know they probably were not worth anything but I mean they're cool to look at you know cool to talk back and forth in the in the comments about so it's a half dollar let me see and find the one that I wanted to share with you guys. Let's see. Yeah, it's right here. <clears throat> this is the one that I wanted to share with you guys that I thought was pretty cool. It is a silver penny. Hope you guys can make it out really good. And um, it says 1943 on it. And that's what it looks like. I just thought that was pretty cool. It just says one cent on the back. Pretty, pretty cool. Can you guys make it out? That's what it looks like. So, I thought that was pretty cool. I wanted to share that with you guys. And um, here's another one. Um, I'm not 
not sure what this one is. Maybe you guys can help me with it, but um, it does say Italia, Italiana, Italiana on there. So I don't know if you can make that out, but I have the light turned up pretty high so you guys can try to see there. No, like. All right, so that's that one. So I hope you guys can see it. And then on the back, uh, it just has like, like a tree branch and like a soldier or something like that. Hope you guys can make that one out. Maybe you can share a little information on it. If you guys maybe even have one, we can talk about it in the comments. All right, so this one that I had was a little bit strange, and I'm not sure um, if you guys have seen anything like this before, but it's very, very different, and it just says uh, copy on the front, so I'm pretty sure this is a copy of, you know, another coin, but it's just strange looking. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. And it looks like it's some type of um, Greek writing or something on the back. Can you make that out? So if you guys have any information on this coin, <laughs> it's just very strange. And it's kind of like raised. It has like a face on that side. And then on this side, it has like a horse and someone standing behind the horse so so yeah that's that okay and then this one um looks like it's in spanish and i don't know spanish but it says padre de la patria or something like that but it says one peso so it says republic republica dominica Dominicana. It has a one on it. So but the writing on this is very, very small. So I don't know like what that says. It's so small. So small. But it says 1992 on there. So it's not not that old. Not that old. Alright, so I think I'm gonna share like two more with you guys and I'll go ahead and let you go and then we'll save some for next time how about that all right so this one is one cent and it looks like it's from Canada hope you guys can see it um says 1942 one cent and that's what it looks like on the front so that's the back and that's the front all right and i think i'm going to share one more with you okay this is another one from canada and it says 1939 canada it says five cents so that's that. So, all right, guys. So, today I've shared one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine with you guys. And uh, maybe we can kind of discuss um, in the comments, kind of, you know, the ones that we shared. Um, maybe you guys can give me a little bit of information about them. Um, like I said before, I think uh, that's from the Dominic. Dominica Republic and then um, I shared the silver penny with you guys which I thought was very interesting and um, and also this one um, was pretty interesting as well so it says first to fly over 
the South Pole. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I don't know if you guys have seen anything like that before, but pretty, pretty cool. And it does have some, like, writing on there that I can't really make out. And it also has, like, some numbers along there as well. So I don't know if you guys know what that means or if you have any information on this. I would love to to share um, information with you guys in the comments and talk back and forth. So, all right, guys, I just wanted to bring some of those coins to you, and I hope you enjoyed them. And I uh, look forward to hearing your responses and your comments and stuff, and we can talk back and forth. All right, guys, until next time. Love you.